Hi guys, it's Paul again from my YouTube art channel. Okay, so day six, uh, this is going out. This is for uh, day six of the uh, work I'm doing with Anak Moore and Eglish um, regeneration scheme over in Northern Ireland in the Portadown region. I had loads and loads of really lovely uh, art um, sent into their Facebook group. Uh, so well done everybody that's taken part so far. Uh, some brilliant work I've seen, some some work better than my original art. Um, just thought I'd show you, um, there's a bit of a theme for this one today, on day six, um, which is uh, a bit of a gorilla um, street art. Back to the street art page, and we did the panda the other day. Um, and then last night I was just sat watching TV and uh, thought I'd sketch a... Um, a gorilla but it's it's in all sorts of multi colors uh, so this this would be classed as kind of abstract art um, so I just thought I'd, uh, I found a brilliant um, image of uh, a gorilla silverback gorilla you know, holding a, a carrot uh, in his mouth because obviously yesterday we did the carrot um, on the YouTube channel um, so found this brilliant uh, black and white image of a uh, gorilla so I started just drawing this out and then I started going uh, crazy with the colors um, which is a bit a bit chaotic, a bit like my mind at the moment, I think. So, uh, we're going to go back to street art. Um, we're just going to move this day six thing out of the way. Um, and I'm going to show you really easy. This is just literally with a black pen, black felt tip, uh, or if you want a slightly thicker line uh, than the fine liner that I'm using. I'm using a Stabilo 0.88, so it's really fine. I'm going to start off with a pencil, though. Um, then go on to the fine liner and then I'm going to use a pencil crayon. Um, so this graffiti um, is by, uh, I think, a, a lad called Mangle, M-A-N-G-U-L. And it's in a wall, it's on a wall in the USA somewhere. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to draw it next to the panda. Okay. Um, so this is quite loose. This would be the originals in um, spray can. So we're going to do it in pencil crayon anyway. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start it, we're going to do it here if we can see, okay, uh, I'm going to do it um, with the ear first, so all we need is um, a line like this, and there's the ear, simple, okay, it's almost like a question mark now, um, so he's gone round like this, um, He's got a circle here, and then he's got a, a bit of a, um, a curve going on here, okay? Um, so that's the ear. Um, then you need to draw from here, from his ear, from here, his ear. Um, this is going to go up and through. Now, I don't know whether you're drawing it here, probably not on the same um, piece of artwork that I'm doing, so you can just draw a curve here. So that's about as far as we want the curve now. Um, we're going to do one curve over here, and then this is going to carry on, and it's going to go round like this, okay? And he's gone down like that, okay? Um, so, um, just coming back to this for a minute, we've got a line that goes really close to this kind of question mark, and it goes up and over here, and it almost touches this this bump here, which is his, one of his ears, I think. Okay, so this is really, really easy. It's just literally um, one spray can, which is black. Okay, um, now on this here, we've got a similar sort of thing going on to this. Okay. Um, now he's got a big X for his eye. All right. So we've got a big X like that. All right. Uh, now he's got a big curve um, for his mouth. So what Mangold has done here is curved it there and then he's gone right across and it goes slightly down there, okay. And then this is his, kind of the bottom of his jaw here. Obviously it looks nothing like my gorilla. This is definitely uh, graffiti going on here. 
uh, and then we curve in that to there. All right, now from from this part here, you don't want to just, just don't touch this ear here. Um, we're gonna have a curve going down and it's gonna go round and it's gonna touch this section here. Okay, so that's what it looks like, all right? Now, we want one curve here, like that. Okay, and then this line is gonna go up slightly before it comes down again. And that's his mouth. Now he's got a big tongue, or tongue, whichever you say. I'm not sure what you guys say over in, say over in uh, Porter Down, the Porter Down area, but I'd say tongue. So I'm from Stoke-on-Trent and we're a bit thick and uh, <laughs> we're not really, um, well some people are, uh, I'd say tongue, I don't know what you guys say, maybe in your messages let me know whether you say tongue or tongue, I don't know how to do that in a message actually, it's, supposed to, it's probably spelt the same. Okay, so there's his, there's his nose and then we've got one more curve which goes like that. Okay, so that's our um, graffiti uh, chimpanzee. I'm gonna go over that now with a fine liner, but I'm gonna thicken the lines up. Okay, on this, see if you can loop, there's a little loop here, loop it back on itself. Okay, so we're now just gonna go over the lines Over the lines like this. We've had lots and lots of about 140 views on the on the videos uh, just in in just in today, today really. Uh, about 12 hours had 140 views, which is the highest number we've ever had in one day on this YouTube channel. So that's brilliant. Um, subscribers, I think we're up to 328. So that's growing nice and steady. Uh, if you could subscribe if you haven't done so already, it's dead easy if you've not got a YouTube subscription, you just need an email address and if you're young just get one of your parents perhaps to do that for you. Um, and you don't even have to create any videos, it just means that you can like videos and you can save videos that you like. Uh, I use it, I'm learning guitar at the moment and uh, I use it all the time with uh, really good guitar tracks that I want to learn some really good guitar tutors on uh, on YouTube. So, um, if you could subscribe, that would be brilliant. Um, trying to get to a thousand uh, this year, if we can. Uh, we're well on the way now, 328. It's growing quite steady. We did have a really slow period a couple of weeks ago where we hardly got any new subscribers. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a few dots on this because this is what he did on the wall, okay? Uh, this is spray painted on a on a cream uh, wall. Okay, this is quite artistic actually. It's not um, it's not the usual street art that you see or, or graffiti that you see. Um, it's quite clean and crisp. Okay, a lot of graffiti artists they'll do it wearing masks so that they don't get the spray paint in there in their lungs um, and you know sometimes if they don't want to be um, spotted by people or arrested by uh, the police then they do it at night time that's why I think uh, very few people know Banksy is the real Banksy okay so that is uh, my street art now if you wanted to make it thicker You'd probably use a felt tip or a, a sharpie or something like that. I don't really like using black sharpies in my sketch pad because it does show through on the next page. Um, but if you're confident now with a, a sharpie, you could do that. I'd just go around some of these now with a pencil crane and you want to thicken some of these lines up because you're trying to make it look like it's a spray can that's done this rather than... Um, a fine liner or a pencil crane, okay. Um, so some of these lines will go thicker now, but not all of them, all right. So we'll do a few of these nice and thick, all right. Um, and if you can curve the ends of some of these, if you curve this end here, it'll look like the end of a, uh, a spray can uh, line, 
All right. Um, and he's done curves on a lot of these lines, or the end of these lines. Okay. Um, so this one, much thicker. So I'm going to go around this now. Almost looks like a question mark now. Okay, for his ear. All right. This is much thicker. That's a really close to... Um, really close to that question mark there. We're going to go thicker here. And we're going to go round. Like that, okay. Um, this is going to go a little bit thicker. But you still want that point at the end. Alright. Um, thicker on this side. We're going to go nice and thick on this, this edge. The left hand side of this. You don't really want to be going towards this line if you can help it. Okay. We'll curve that round. That's good. Um, and then just make sure these curves are nice. They, when you get to these curves, make sure they're really nice and curved if you can. Because this gorilla is a little bit chubby. the kind of thickness that you want. That's it. Okay. So, um, we've just missed one thing. I'm going to carry on with the pencil crane now because I've got it in my hand. Um, and it comes down here. And it goes like this. Okay, and then we've got one curved line here. Like that. Okay, um, and that is our gorilla um, kind of nod to street art. Um, so if you can keep on sharing your efforts, that'd be great. Um, that's a really quick video, hopefully. Uh, yeah, 12 minutes on that one. Okay, um, just one, just one final thicker line here, just to match everything up. Okay, um, and then the X's as well. Just get a curve at this top edge. Try and make it thinner on one side than the other, um, and a curve here. Okay, so we get thicker this side, and thinner as we're going across. Okay, that's it. Happy with that, I think. Okay, um, so there is our um, there is our gorilla, and hope you guys are well, staying safe during COVID lockdown, coronavirus lockdown. Uh, obviously, just be safe, keep your safe distances as well, guys, if you can. Um, and thanks for joining me, and we'll see you. Um, so this is going out Saturday. We'll see you, see you Sunday for day seven. Okay, um, see you soon. All right, take care now, bye-bye.